So I think I'm recording. I hope I am, and I hope the audio is working. But uh, welcome. I'm Chris Dressler. I'll be your professor uh, this summer for ME342 Machine Component Design, Fundamentals of Machine Component Design. Uh, you can call me Dress. That's what most people call me. Uh, this is probably an unusual introduction to uh, a summer class, right? So here I am, sweaty. It's, it's uh, June 10th. 2021. It's hot. 88 degrees. I'm wearing bib overalls. Um, I'm sitting in my driveway working on my boat. Why am I working on my boat? Well, um, some of you who may be familiar with boat trailers, I'm not working on the boat. I'm actually working on the trailer. Um, you know, the, the trailer has these rollers, right? You can see this thing is, is distorted a little bit. It's not totally round. The, you know, there's these underneath the keel back here, there's these uh, rollers and the boat rolls up on the rollers. And um, uh, they're supposed to roll, right? But uh, clearly, I made some sort of a mistake. This is not how the axle, the shaft, is supposed to look <laughs> inside this roller, right? So at some point uh, over the past year and a half or so, um, the fraction of the weight of this boat caused a stress in this shaft that exceeded its yield strength. Uh, by quite a bit. I don't know what kind of steel this is. Uh, probably low carbon, maybe nickel plated or something like that. Um, so, so there's a little mistake there, right? Um, and uh, so I had to. Uh, um, what I had to do is is use this jack, right? And I and I put it under here, uh, and I and I turn this. And this is a power screw. This is not like a screw or a bolt. This is this is called a power screw in here. It's got Acme um, tapered threads, right? And I turn this and then the jack goes up. So I lifted that up. I put the new rollers in place uh, with, um, uh, with what? Um, with a, a carriage bolt like this. This is a half inch, low strength steel carriage bolt. I wonder how much weight this can hold. You know, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, 500, 1,000 pounds? I don't know. What do you think this thing holds, right? Um, and then here's a nut that goes on. I wonder how many threads we would need uh, in order to fully engage this uh, so that it can function to its full capacity. I don't know, we'll probably learn something like that. Um, what else is going on? So in the wheels back here, right there, um, there's bearings, right? And the bearings ride on an axle, uh, all of which is under some load, some repeated load, some static load. Right, right now in the driveway, it's just a static load. Going down the highway, it's a fatigue load. Um, between the axles and the frame of the trailer are some leaf springs. Leaf springs are actually really cool. My pants are falling off here. Uh, so we're gonna learn about those. Um, and so the more I thought about it, I'm like, just this one project. Oh yeah, and over here, here's like the winch that I used to crank the boat back up onto the trailer. There's the brakes um, that this thing back here kind of moves in and out when I slow the truck down. And then that forces hydraulic fluid into the cylinders back there on the brakes, and then the brakes have some sort of friction elements um, that slow the trailer down. So like this, basically, three, four, ME 342 Fundamentals of Machine Component Design is behind me right now, which I think is just great. Um, in fact, some of the problems we're gonna work on uh, this semester will, uh, will be related to this very trailer and this very boat. Because okay, I'm like, why should we do some dumb problem from some textbook, right? Let's do a real problem. Let's solve something that needs to get solved, uh, not a, just contrived textbook problem. I hate contrived textbook problems. All right, so um, basically the way this semester is gonna work, we're gonna, you know, all, all these topics are in the syllabus and the schedule and blah, 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 blah. Um, but the way the class is gonna work, it's an online class. I know a lot of you are in internships and co-ops and stuff right now. Uh, so lecture, and I put that in air quotes, lecture will be from noon to one, uh, Wisconsin time. The thought being that that's roughly your lunch break. Um, in my experience, uh, most engineering jobs are very flexible. Uh, nobody actually works 40 hours a week. Uh, everybody works more than 40 hours a week, but if you want to take an hour and 15 minute lunch, that's fine. Some days you can't take a lunch at all. Uh, so for this reason, all the lectures and all the example problems are pre-recorded. They're all available on YouTube. Um, so if you're the kind of person that just wants to have just you know, a nice organized lecture and take notes and have PowerPoint slides and blah, 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 that's all up there, right? It's all on YouTube. Um, I mean, my lectures, right? Uh, the TAs did most of the example problems, um, but they're, uh, they're up there um, and available from Canvas. So that's that. And then the actual one hour lecture, air quotes, 
uh, will be more like an office hours, right? I'll kind of hit the high points that you need to know for the week. Um, but for the most part, I'm expecting you to come to me with questions, right? And for that reason, I strongly encourage you to watch, uh, you know, look at the schedule, watch the lectures ahead of time, um, come to lecture, uh, and, and with questions, um, I'll try to lead it a little bit, but, um, there's only like 12 of us, right? Maybe 13 counting me. So this is a great opportunity to just kind of hang out and, and talk about machine components, ask questions. You don't have to be embarrassed. I mean, for that matter, even in a class of 150 people during the semester, you don't need to be embarrassed, right? Being curious is a good thing. Uh, but anyway, um, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be just kind of drop in lectures and we'll talk. We'll talk about the homework. We'll talk about the project. We'll talk about the lectures. We'll talk about the example problems. We'll talk about whatever you want to talk about, right? A little bit what I want to talk about. Um, but then Thursday, Thursday, you got to be there from noon to one. So talk to your boss, talk to your whoever um, about uh, from noon to one on Thursday, you've got to be there because that will be a required lecture. Um, so, or, well, because during that time, during that, my neighbor just pulled up, so I got distracted. Um, during that time, we'll take a quiz. So every Thursday, there will be a quiz. So the bulk of your grade um, is actually these weekly quizzes every Thursday, noon to one. And I'm going to just sit there on Canvas or on, uh, I guess we're, we're going to use Zoom this semester, maybe WebEx. I'm not sure whichever works better, uh, Zoom or WebEx. Uh, and I'm just going to sit there and watch you take a quiz, right? Uh, I think that honor lock is pretty creepy, so we're not going to use that. Um, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, drop in lecture. Thursday, mandatory quiz, noon to one. You will scan it. You will submit it a PDF via Canvas, and uh, that'll be a big part of your grade. The next biggest part of your grade uh, is the project, right? So the design project is, is actually not unlike um, this winch here. Let's see, that, that winch here. There's actually a handle uh, there, and the handle turns the little gear, and the little, turns the, big, the little gear turns the big gear, and the big gear uh, pulls the boat up onto the trailer, right? So we're gonna design something like that, um, except it's two stages, right? And it's, uh, um, the, the project description is up on Canvas. Um, so you're not gonna design some miracle machine. You're gonna design, some, design something that's very simple that's existed for hundreds of years, well, maybe 100 years. 150 years and uh, but to do this right it's gonna take you about 600 lines of code right it's really really simple but we want to shave every gram that we can we want to get the gear teeth just the right size but not too big um, we want to make this as small as light as compact as we can to still achieve the desired safety factors and to make it work right so input shaft counter shaft output shaft 600 lines of code right believe it or not uh, to make this all work um, so be prepared for that. Uh, I will um, actually, I'm going to let you guys kind of sort yourself out into groups and I will help out where necessary because I know some people are in different time zones and it might make more sense. Hey, the, the people with jobs, maybe it makes sense for them to team up. The people that are in you know, Asia it makes sense for them to team up because um, of time zone stuff, whatever, right? We'll work that out. But you'll be in um, groups of four and uh, it's going to be a lot of work, right? And a big part of your project grade is what did your teammates think of your effort, right? So if you think you're gonna kick back and slack and let you, oh, I got this kid in my you know, group who definitely wants an A, so he's gonna do all the work. Yeah, but then that kid's gonna trash you in their evaluation. Um, and so that doesn't go well for you, right? Um, so please don't slack off, carry your weight. It's a big project, it's a simple thing, but you're gonna see how all interrelated this stuff is. Uh, okay, so you've got um, quizzes every Thursday, right? Mandatory, noon to one. Uh, you've got a project that's going to be due at the end of the semester. There's kind of benchmarks along the way. Uh, that's worth the next biggest chunk of your grade. And then after that is, uh, oh yeah, your problem sets, homework, right? I, they're, you know, often related to my motorboat or uh, the engine on my motorboat or something like that, right? I kind of make these things up. Um, but they're fun and hopefully you'll learn something from them. And uh, um, my phone's ringing. And so those are worth like the next chunk of your grade, right? And I'll grade those pretty carefully. Those will be due Wednesday nights. Uh, and so, and I'll post solutions for those. So I, I'm kind of forcing you to work on them. Uh, and then you'll see the solutions on Wednesday night. And then you have time to look at that. What I'll try to do is have some office hours on Thursday morning before the mandatory quiz, right? The quiz is noon to one, mandatory. Um, and I'll try to have some office hours so you can ask me questions about the homework solutions or the homeworks or whatever. 
Uh, and then lastly, there will be some suggested problems. Most weeks there will be a handful of suggested problems. These are just contra you know, just out of the textbook, boring homework problems um, that uh, uh, that will just you know be, be our good practice uh, as you get ready for the quiz. Um, so that's that. But those aren't even. I'm not going to grade those in much detail, right? Those are just practice for you to do this, and I'll, I'll post the solutions for those as well. Uh, so quizzes every Thursday, huge design project, 600 lines of code. Um, Problem sets that are due, and I think maybe participation, right? And I know that some of you uh, can't come to drop in lectures, but we'll be using Piazza, a lot of questions and answers. I hope you guys can answer each other's questions uh, on Piazza. I'll count that as participation too. But basically, if you ask me a good question every week, maybe even a couple questions a week, I guarantee you'll get full participation points. Um, learning is all about questions and you have to ask questions uh to learn that I, I strongly believe that the evidence supports that you got to ask questions um so that's it uh if you have any questions shoot me an email uh that's the best way to communicate or put them in, if it's a good question for the whole group put it on piazza um if it's not a question for the whole group uh you know it's something about like a rash well i'm not the one that talked about a rash but it's a question about like grades or academic private stuff you know then email me about that um, so that's it hopefully everybody can make the first lecture so we can talk about you know a good time to have office hours um, and that's all I got uh, we'll talk to you guys uh, hopefully on Monday so let's see here to stop this guy